In this series, The World's Most Dangerous Snakes, I expand on an idea first introduced by wildlife presenter Nigel Marvin as I count down what I believe to be the 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. We look at four rating factors. Number one, venom toxicity. Two, proximity to people. Three, personality. And four, a special category known as the X Factor. Each snake is given a score out of 10 for each category. The scores are then combined to reach a total out of 40 and the snakes are rated based on that overall score. Guys, welcome to our new series, The World's Deadliest Snakes. And number 10 on the list is this beautiful, magnificent 100 pace here, all the way from Southeast Asia. And as you can see, it's also known as a sharp-nosed viper. Look at that little horn it's got on top of its head. And as you can see, an absolutely stunning snake. Very similar, very reminiscent of the Bothrops, the fertile lance species, the lance heads all the way from South America. And it's a beautiful snake. It's still quite calm. Just cruising around, looking at it. Head up, isn't that amazing? Thinks it's a cobra. Absolutely spectacular snake. And when we're comparing the world's most dangerous snakes, we're looking at four factors. The first factor and the reason this snake edges into the number 10 is the venom toxicity. Woo! Did you see that? And as you can see, it just clocked me a little bit, came around and I knew what was coming. Strike. The venom toxicity of this snake, really, really bad. It's got a mixture of hematoxic venom and cytotoxic. Oh! I knew you were coming. Cytotoxic venom. And the hematoxic venom, you see that? Strike, strike. The hematoxic venom destroys your blood cells. And that cytotoxic venom, that's tissue destroying. He's going to come again. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Here he comes. Boom. And as I was saying, the tissue des destroying venom attacks your tissues, that cytotoxic venom. And what happens then, if this snake was to bite me, massive pain sticking my hand in boiling oil a lot of a lot of pain and then on top of that a lot of swelling and then what will happen is your tissues will start just dissolving and breaking down and then so will your blood so there was a man who was bitten just hang on a second here man who was bitten in asia actually in china and what happened to him he ended up in hospital for three weeks and then he went to a rehab facility for another month because what is happening, this guy's keeping me on my toes here. Whew. All right, just relax for a bit. Be nice if it just sat still. What happened is he ended up just getting massive swelling and necrosis. And the doctor had to slit him open with a scalpel, give him a fasciotomy, which basically means you cut open the whole part of your arm here and you release the pressure. Otherwise, your skin splits on its own. So it's a real problem with these snakes. On top of that, he had blood in his urine. Blood coming out, oozing out of the wound for three weeks after the bite. Magnificent snake. But venom right off the chart. It's called the 100 Pacer because as legend would have it, if you get tagged by one of these snakes, you can take 100 paces and then the person will drop down dead. It's a little bit exaggerated. Some people even call it the five pace snake. That would be horrific. It won't kill you that quickly, but the venom kills a lot of people throughout China, Northern Vietnam, Taiwan, all over the place. And that's why on my list, I give it a big seven for venom. The second factor we look at is the proximity that these beautiful animals are found with human beings. As you'll be aware, China, or alongside India, the most populous country in the world with over a billion people. And that's the home of the beautiful 100 Pesa. Absolutely spectacular. Throughout Southeast Asia, so Vietnam, Taiwan, highly densely populated places, which means that this snake is coming into human contact fairly often. And that's where the conflict comes out. Humans encroaching into their natural habitat, and so, when it comes to proximity of humans, how often does this snake come into contact with people? 
I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Our third category has got to do with the personality or the temperament of the snake. How difficult are these snakes to handle? And you saw it coming out from the start there. Mouth open, strike, strike. Now it's a bit more tired. It's calmed down. Look at that. Calmed right down. I couldn't get this close earlier. I definitely couldn't tail it. Let me see if I can tail it now. You know, watching me, it's got those heat pits. No, you just behave. Yeah, stop it coming up. Yeah, that's better. Got it a little bit more under control now. Look at that. Isn't it a beautiful snake? So when it comes to temperament, these guys, they can lose their minds, as you saw there. Struck, struck, struck. Going off like a frog in a sock. All over the place. So when it comes to personality, I'll give the 100 pacer a big fat eight. Cranky, cranky snakes. Crankier than an old man at a birth kid's birthday party. Goes off his head. Absolutely violent. And then our last factor, the special one, the X factor. It's a hard one to kind of rate with the snake. It's got super toxic venom. Venom that destroys your blood. Venom that destroys your tissues. It's found in close proximity to human beings. It's grumpy. Now it's calmed right down. And so when it comes to the X factor, that factor that defines just how dangerous these snakes are for me, I'm going to give the snake a five. It's fast, it's grumpy, it's got super toxic venom, and it's a real handful to work with. And that brings the total score for the 100 pacer to a big steamy 26. One of the most dangerous snakes in the world, and on my list of the world's most dangerous snake, number 10. Join us for our next episode, where we look at the number nine most dangerous snake in the world. Thanks for joining us, Dingo out.